Hello and welcome to the Mighty Miniatures campaign. It's episode 8 and we are going to do the first story mission. Uh, I was out today with my friend and we got quite a few drinks in and having had quite a few drinks I figured what better thing to do with my afternoon than to play the absolutely critical story mission that might end my campaign. Several hours later. Right. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go. Mech warriors, prepare for combat! <clears throat> I don't know if the story missions have changed. This is the thing. This is the thing that bugs me, is... Do the difficulty settings in any way change the story missions? Because if they don't, then... There's not going to be much additional challenge here. I already beat all the story missions just using the AC2. And that was as hard as it got and it was loads of fun you should I mean I I'm not lying it was it was so fun to do um, so if they haven't enhanced the difficulty of the story missions any then this is gonna be a stomp a stomp <clears throat> Let's rumble. Uh, a few people said that uh, my play style was very different to other streamers, and that other streamers played very cautiously, and uh, I just tend to charge in and control arcs. And, um,. <clears throat> the bottom line is that their playstyle is actually optimal, or I should say it's like it's safer way to play, but I don't enjoy playing safely. It's, you know, an optimal way to play is to stand here, have LRMs on everybody, you know, sensor lock these things one by one, take them out with missiles, and there's no risk. But I just hate it. It's it's boring to play. It's boring to watch. So, a lot of the additional challenge or the tactical decisions that I place on myself are actually just partially just to make this entertaining. Not just for you, but for me. Okay, apparently I have a clean shot, but it's not telling me which weapons have a clean shot. Uh, okay, that's fine. God damn it. Oh no, both shots hit, it just looked weird. Send in the spider that ran along beside her. God damn it. Ah, oh, Medusa, you're supposed to be showing me your war face. Got it. Let me see your war face. Is that enough to finish it? It really isn't, is it? Ugh, every hit would have to land. Did they all hit? No. Five! Why f uh, Oh yeah. No, yeah, every shot did hit. It's 20, isn't it? Jeez. 
Jesus, the lack of firepower is real. Sweet! Uh, I think it's actually easier to just blow this laser turret into chunks. She's got bulwark. I keep forgetting, like, this is the normal game. This is not rogue tech. I do not need to uh, bulwark, uh, to move all the time. Sweet. <coughs> I landed precisely enough shots to take that out. Okay, tanks. Nothing exciting going on there. We just wait for them to get closer. Okay, let's go. Let's go time. <clears throat> Looks like I actually can't get close enough to hit on this turn, so. Whatever. Missiles away. Weird, I have a shot? Got it. What, are you gonna just let me shoot through the cliff? Okay. Really? Ha! That's so bizarre. I don't remember there being all these tanks. Maybe the difficulty has changed. I mean, that's like four tanks. Plus some some other stuff. Looks like it might be turrets of some some kind. Come on over here, boys. I'm not sure if these turrets are tied into this turret generator anyway, so I'll take that out. Where? What? So that tank just randomly turned around and started driving away. Yeah. Ready for orders. Let's go! Uh, I can't split fire. So let's just take the bulldog out if we can. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Dead, dead, dead. Can you jump? No, can't jump. Well, I can't do anything else, so I'm just going to shoot the turret generator. <clears throat> Waiting on you, Commander. Can you jump into a good position? Nope. Can't 
can't really do anything effective at all. Apart from take out this comms tower, but you know, that's whatever. Wait a minute. Yeah, but I'm not really going to do anything. Oh well, whatever. Don't need to fire that many. Time to clean up, my friends. Time to clean up. Like, it broke from the bottom and then collapsed. But everyone shot the top of it. Commander. So... That apparently requires an explanation that is beyond me. If you move there, can you... Okay, you can hit that turret generator. Order received. I think what I'll do is I'll vigilance this spider because he is quite exposed. Can you kill this guy? Uh, potentially, if you hit it twice in the same place. Let's go for it. Nice! Good kill. Get rid of this scorpion as well. Kick it through the front. Ooh. Time to die, dishonorable vehicle. Shouldn't Grim Sybil be like banging on about getting our LRM turret online round about now. Does that generator take out that turret? Target building destroyed. Yes it does! Can you not get a better... There we go. Oh, no. There we go. That'll do. I love jump jets. Such tactical value. Such value. Much tactics. Wow. <laughs> All that's left is the guy cowering behind the... Uh, the bio domes or whatever. The habitats. This is going very, very smoothly. And not any differently, it would seem, from um, the standard game. So, we're, what, we're gonna have a standard game, pretty much, for the story missions? Well, it's moonwalking. He like mo he Michael Jackson his way back to the position and then spun around. <laughs> it's just like every time I see it, it's just funny. Uh, I'm not going to use this mech to destroy buildings. There is no point in wasting my precious ammunition. Destroying a building that cannot fight back. On. 
Yeah, whatever, I won. We got plenty of time. Got plenty of time. What can I do for you? On my way. Of course, the lunar biome means that my lasers are running a lot hotter than they should be. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, I'm an idiot. That tank is like, I don't know, does he think that he's sneaking up behind me? Because, uh, he isn't. <laughs> Sweet. I copy. Good to go. Good to go. Don't need to tell me twice. Look, there's another one moonwalking. Dun 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 dun. Ow! Striker, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Striker? Like no. <laughs> no, he's not okay. <laughs> he's very dead. <laughs> uh, the madness is going to slip out this episode, I'm sorry. Okay. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I I really couldn't. I hear ya. Let's go, boys. Don't worry about the spider being left behind. It is by far the fastest mech, so it will uh very quickly catch up. Copy that. See what I mean by two jump jets are plenty. I mean that's quite a lot of jump for just two jets. I'm genuinely not sure what eight jump jets brings to the table. Oh look this mysterious roads thing again. Let's go. I need eight pieces of something to capture it, so it's gonna be a long time before I uh, get a shadow hawk or something. <laughs> it's just so funny because this story mission is like the secondary objective for me was always to. Um, capture the shadow hawk and it's kind of pointless I'm gonna need a lot more shadow hawks before I can actually build another one I am not able to reserve. This is a free action phase, maybe. Right. This doesn't look any different, right? Three mechs and two tanks. Roger that. Oh, 
Oh look, a locust. Hocus locust. Take the fight to these idiots. Okay. Looks good to me. Where do I go here? Or maybe here? Let's go here. What am I looking at? A Jenner, a Galleon, like nothing frightening. I'm not going to kill it, am I? Let's see if I can take out the locust. Not quite. Go, go, go! The little mech that could take out the galleon from me. Since he's got no health, just a simple pick off. Good old jump jets. Uh, okay, what if I get closer? Is that a better shot? Yes, it is a better shot. Here we go. Right, hopefully he does not survive this. I only need to land two shots. Oof. Reporting critical hit. I did not land the two shots I needed though. What can I do for you? Oh, that's a clean shot on well it's not a clean shot, but it's a reasonable shot. I never worked this out, but I think you can target these buildings, but I, I have no idea how you would target them. Uh -huh. I'm not going to kill it. But you know, whatever. Your sergeant is dead. By Killed by a demon they called the Butcher. Slay this Butcher so that his soul may finally rest. <laughs> ah. That's a reference. Here comes the Jenner. Not braced now. I'm not going to make the genocide joke again. There's only one of them. i got to come up with a new joke for killing Jenners. Enemy 
he missed with his AC5. Actually would have done a ton of damage to me. Had it hit. CT please. Yes! That was easy. Waiting on you, Commander. What? You don't have a clean shot from there? Really? How odd. Must be some sort of terrain glitch. Fifteen! Okay, we do not need to, like, give this guy all the laser treatment. Roger that. Firing on target. That'll do. Knocked out a vehicle. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. Now what, my friend? Wow, she's like all. Oh, um. There's no way this thing should have flied after 200 years of sitting here and being butchered by pirates. I mean, look at it. Half of it seems to be buried in a rock. But whatever. Um, I would like you to... Do I just medium laser this commando in the face and kill it instantly? Because that does appeal to me. Or just punch him. Let's just punch him. Oosh! And a little small laser salute just to finish the job. Orders. What we'll do is we'll get Medusa off the front line because the spider is not exactly a front line vehicle. All weapons are gold. Ooh, nice. You can just cool off for now. Conserve that weaponry for later. This should be the end of the commando. There we go. I was I, th I was thinking for a second there. Oh god, everything's gonna miss. <laughs> but that uh, that didn't happen. Fortunately. Now what? Just chill out. All right. Come on. Come get some if you think you're odd enough. Okay, what we're we dealing with? A Shadow Hawk, and I can't even remember what the other one is. A quick draw. Wow, they really have very little HP where it matters. Let's go for it. Let's just try it. 
see if I could get the head. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. I mean, I have the uh, the points to try it. The morale points. Oh, we got a head hit. Jump! Here. Laser sandwich! Okay, not a bad little way to open proceedings. Wow, did you just stand still? You totally did. Let's uh, give them the side because the CT is taking quite a few hits. Man, I should almost like switch targets, shouldn't I? Considering that she's been so kind as to not not move. Just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch targets and quickly carve the Shadow Hawk into Turkey because it's left itself in such a weak position. It's actually begging for death. Waiting on you, Commander. Tell me what to shoot. I'm not feeling any risk at the moment, so I'm not gonna overheat my mechs just to try and get kills. Oh, it's so risky getting into melee with a friggin' with these mechs. Um, I don't think I can even, well maybe, I was thinking to myself, I'm not sure if I can even get a kill on anything, but I actually might be able to. Confirm. Soften these idiots. Okay. Uh okay, that's quite random. He took the bait though and shot the side of the Shadow Hawk. So now I just uh face the other direction. Uh yeah, can you just do me a small favor and remove this guy's evasion tokens, please? Ooh, good hits. Critical hit, Commander. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, melee! Shit! Ow! Okay, time to face the other way. Turn around! Um, this guy is an easier target right now. sure I want to show my back. feeling the pressure at the moment. Critical hit, Commander. I hear ya. Three medium lasers and all I have to do is hit it in either side or the center and it's dead. God damn it. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. What is he doing? I'm still focusing on the uh, Shadow Hawk, but I've rotated it now. Wow, he actually cooked himself to do that as well. Okay, this should be fatal. Should be. You can't! Ooh! Clever girl. moved to actually hit the weak side. However, you have actually left me with enough distance to uh, get away. Um, okay, I'm facing the wrong way because I'm an idiot. Oh well. Oh, I think I hit the head again. That's two injuries. I should be able to just pile in the last couple of necessary injuries. When I get either of the side torsos, that should be enough to do it. Actually, this is the wrong mech to use my precision strike with. Waiting for orders. Okay. No shot. facing the wrong way. 
I need you to kill. In fact, just aim for the head, and if you scrape either side, it should be good enough. Oh, we got a leg! That's an injury as well. So that's three injuries now, two headshots, and a knockdown. Should get the pilot. I mean, the CT has still got loads of health. Um, just need just the slightest bit of splatter damage. I'm just concerned about hitting that leg. I don't actually want to leg it if I can get the pilot. Sweet. Yes, the pilot's dead. Nice! Hopefully I get quite a bit of that on the loot table. Jump! Sweet, we did it. We did it. I don't really think it was any different from normal. Obviously, only being able to use tiny weapons uh, increased the difficulty somewhat. In fact, in some ways, only being able to use tiny weapons increased the difficulty. And, like, with the AC2 campaign, I knew that everybody was using AC2s, so I could just engage at range constantly and use that as a whole complete strategy, along with heavy armor. And in this, most of the mechs are quite disparate in their equipment, which makes them a little bit more difficult to coordinate as a whole unit. Plus, I'm still using the spider because I'm using the spider. So that makes a difference as well. But still, all in all, pretty good. Yes. I would very much like all of that. Any other bits would be helpful. Nope. I realize the quick draw is heavier and would probably be better, but, um, you know, you only get three priority picks, so you get what you get. <clears throat> I was going to go for the quick draw, and it just, the way the battle evolved, it didn't. It didn't make sense to. Off she goes. Meet your real client. I'm so happy to see you again. The old man would be pleased. <laughs> the old man would be pleased, Shinji. He'd be pleased. You finally learnt to get into the robot. Yeah. We have money to burn.
Da dun dun. We found most of a centurion. Yeah. It's not equipped for combat yet. Ugh. Oh. You think you're doing me a favor by stripping it, but you're not. You are not doing me a favor. Right, let's see what tiny weapons we can put on this. Um, mm. Let's go with... Is there a store here? Oh, how I wish. 88 grand each. Really? Damn. New weapon systems available. Let's go with three LRM fives. Fifteen rounds. What's it? Hundred or hundred and twenty in the can? Hundred and twenty in the can. Thirty. Two, four, eight. Eight volleys. That's not bad. Some medium lasers. The obligatory AC2. And requisite ammunition for it. And, um. A small laser. Because I can't actually do anything else. This is it. <laughs> the restrictions have put me in this vice from which there is no escape. Okay. Two tons left. What's the alpha heat? So 30 base sinking, 52 heat, 22 per, per round. It's not bad. The obligatory two small jump jets are required. And a heatsink. I suppose I could add more heat sinking, but I'm just not sure all of these weapons are gonna get completely used all of the time. Thirty three sinking against fifty two heat, it's only an a, a adjusted acclimation of um 19, which would mean 5 alphas before it became a problem. Well, I'm always free to change it later. I feel like this is okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go to the barracks and spend all those experience points that we earn. Matt, we actually have earned quite a few. I think we will make Behemoth our sensor lock pilot. Training complete. Waiting for orders. And everyone else can be the pretty standard multi-shot bulwark. This is really annoys me. Is um, <coughs> because Behemoth starts with Bulwark, and Glitch starts with Multi Shot. I can never get the abilities to line up correctly. <laughs> it's really, it really annoys me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. It's I guess it's the same reason why people are constantly um, feature requesting um, the ability to rearrange mechs in the garage. Because that's really annoying as well. I guess a lot of people are just annoyed by stuff like that. Anyway, uh, the mission is done. We are clean and clear. And I guess we need to just go to another planet somewhere. Back to Detroit.
Oh look, they start to like me now. A recovery of some weird art. This might be an opportunity to get some good salvage actually. Since the money is basically worthless anyway. And we just need to be somewhere else now. <clears throat> Could worry about the finer details later. Uh, let's move a small amount. I had to play it safe with these events. Oh man, these these flying things are just so boring. I just uh <clears throat> I always like to put the clean up at the end of each video so that you can not have to watch it if you don't want to. The start of each episode just brings you straight into the action. But it's here for completion's sake, obviously. I think the average person watches 16 minutes of each video, so they watch the fights, I guess, and they, they're not too bothered about the um, surrounding malarkey of doing the prep and doing the uh, the mech lab stuff and all that kind of thing. But, I mean, I don't mind that. It is what it is, right? Oh, it's the coffee thing again. He's got the financial report. Good man. Get your ass to Detroit. Okay, good. We're ready to go. Join me next time when uh, we're going to do this weird one man's art mission and just see what the post-story um, battlescape looks like. <clears throat>